Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, you see, um, I want you to know that God wants to satisfy, satisfy your desires. God is interested in meeting your needs. God wants to solve your problems. God wants to show you the way out of it. He wants to bless your life. You see, the Bible says something. It says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will calm the desires of your heart. Glory to God. Commit your ways also to him and trust him and he will bring it to pass. Glory to God. God is about to bring to pass everything he has promised you. He's about to do according to his words in your life. Glory to God. So I want to talk to you briefly about the God of the gushing flow. <laughs> Glory to God. The God of the gushing flow. You see, the children of Israel, like they encountered a problem in the book of Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 15. The Bible says, and the Bible said, you gave them bread from heaven for their hunger and brought them water out of the rock for their taste. They encountered a problem in the wilderness. You see, for them, their case was closed. They don't know where the next, the next water is going to come from. They don't know where the, the next food is going to come from. They don't know how the needs in their life are going to be, are, are going to be met. But the Bible says, that God satisfied them and provided all they needed, even in, even in the midst of the most unlikely and impossible situation. Glory to God. He granted their desires even when they never saw it coming. Glory to God. You see, when they have lost all hopes, God showed up. <laughs> Glory to God. I don't know who I'm speaking to today. Maybe you have lost hope. Maybe you have thought this is the end of the road for you. God is telling you, I'm about to give you a gushing flow. A gushing flow of my deliverance. An overwhelming river of, of, of visitation, of deliverance, of restoration. I'm about to give you a gushing flow. You see, you see the rock signifies something that is difficult, something that is hard, something that is rough, something that is unstable, something that is uncertain. But even in the midst of this problem they had, God still released into their life a gushing flow. And I decree a gushing flow is coming into your life. It looks that there's no way out. God is making a way for you. Glory to God. It's in Psalms chapter 78 and verse 15. The Bible put it this way. He said, he split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them drinks in abundance like the, like the depth. He also brought stream out of the rock and caused water to run down the river. You see, God splitted the rock in order to release abundance, abundance into the life. You see, if it's going to take God to break the barrier to give you a deliverance, whatever it's going to take God to give you the desires of your heart, God's going to do it. <laughs> Glory to God. You see, I decree that your chains are, are, are broken, your rock are splitted. You see, in the midst of that difficult situation, God made a way for them. Now, I want to speak to you, even in the midst of that difficulty you are in right now, there's going to be a gushing overflow of God's visitation. There's going to be a gushing flow of God's divine favor, God's divine deliverance, God's divine restoration in your life. Glory to God. Even in the midst of that difficulty, they experience a change. They experience an exchange of divine turnaround in their life. Glory to God. And I want to speak to you out of that same problem. I'm going to come out of your breakthrough. Out of that same challenge gonna come out your deliverance. You see, out of the rock, out of the impossible came out the resources and everything they need to be sustained. And I speak to you in the name of Jesus. Out of that same situation, gonna come out your breakthrough <laughs> because God gonna break your rocks, <laughs> God gonna break your chain, and God gonna, God gonna release the desires of your heart. Glory to the Lamb of God. You see, Psalm chapter 78, verse 20. The Bible says, Behold, he struck the rock so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? <laughs> Glory to God. 
can he provide meat for his people? Now, if he can strike the rock, my question to you is, can he meet your Can he meet your need? You see, if he can do that, it can, it has, if God has brought you out from a situation before, can he do it again? Glory to God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. He is the same. There's no unchanging in his decrees and his plan for your life. Glory to God. He has done it before. He's going to do it again. He's going to provide for you. He's going to deliver you again. He's going to bless you again. He's going to restore you again. Glory to God. He said, can he provide meat for his people? I want to tell you this. I want to open, open your heart to receive. Because great things are about to happen in your life. God, God, God is about to do something wonderful in your destiny. If he has brought you thus this far, I want to guarantee you that he's about to miss, he's about to meet that need and even the next needs in your life. Glory to God. Receive the gushing flow in this new season. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You see, the Bible says in Psalm 145 and verse 16, he opened your hands and satisfy the desires of every living thing. God said, I'm going I'm to open my hands and release my blessings into your life. I'm going to open my hands and release my restoration, my healing, my blessings into your life. And this is just, uh, this is your season. I will satisfy your desires. Glory to God. It's not impossible to me. It might look impossible to you, but not to God. I'm going to open my hands and release a gushing flow of my blessings into your destiny. Glory, glory to God. And that's what is about to happen to you. In this new season, expect it to come. Expect that breakthrough. <laughs> expect a turnaround. Expect, expect God's restoration and deliverance. Expect new doors to open. Expect new businesses to come. Expect promotion to come. Expect the job to be released to you. God is about to give you a gushing flow. When in the midst of the drought, in the midst of the impossible, God is saying, I'm going to break your rocks. I'm going to break your chains. I'm going to break whatever that is holding you bound. And I'm going to release into your destiny the exact thing they thought you can get. Glory to God. I'm going to release into your life the exact thing you thought you can have in your life. I'm going to release that same thing into your life. You're going to, you're going to have a caution overflow of my visitation. Glory to the number of God. And I decree in your life that this will be for you a season of the gushing flow of God's power, God's visitation, God's deliverance, God's abundance in every areas of your life. No more lack, no more slack, no more failure, no more backwardness. You're moving forward. It's your season. Receive it and it's coming to pass in your life in this new season in the name of Jesus Christ. This is I saying, keep walking by faith. The Lord is in your life and your desires are granted in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you.